Hi guys, I wanted to make a little video here again for you to show you, uh, just to kind of review end behavior that we did in class, make sure that that's solidified in your understanding, and then also go over uh, example six, how to graph a polynomial function using a table of values, all right? And so, uh, let me do this first, let me go back over this. I, I added some functions here just for you to have a numeric example of what each of these rules are talking about. Okay, so there's the uh, example for each one. And uh, just, just a quick recap here, it says uh, the end behavior, so we said we're interested in knowing what, do the, what does a graph, a polynomial graph do in the extreme values, so at the end, so we're talking about this and this. Uh, what happens in the middle, we'll look a little bit more at in detail uh, in class this chapter, but um, the ends are something we're interested in uh, just knowing so we can understand the shape, the general shape of the graph, okay? Um, and so this rule says when the degree of the polynomial is odd, so here's the degree, which is 3, which is an odd number, and the leading coefficient is positive, so here's the leading coefficient, it's positive 4, then we know that the graph of this function looks something like this. Now it won't look exactly like that, but something like that. So we don't know what this looks like, it might not look like the picture here, but we can with confidence say what the ends of the graph do. So what the rule tells us is uh, the end of the graph as x is going towards infinity, so here's x, and infinity is all the way out over here. So positive infinity is all the way out over there on the x-axis. As x goes towards infinity, what is the function doing? So here is uh, the function, okay, here's the function, and so what is the function doing? Well, f of x is pointing up forever, going up forever, but what's out up forever? Up forever is what we call positive infinity in terms of y. So the function is approaching positive infinity, okay? As x is approaching positive infinity. That's what this says. Now, the textbook says it the other way around, really. They say uh, the function is going to infinity as x goes to infinity. I like to talk about x first because x is technically the independent variable and f of x represents y, which is the dependent variable. So for me, it makes more sense to talk about as x does something, what does y do, or what does the function do? Any case, and then this side we say uh, here, as f of x, or let's, let's do it the other way around, as x goes to negative infinity, what is the function doing? So again, negative infinity, here's x, negative infinity is out this way for x, okay? Uh, so as x approaches negative infinity, what is the function doing? Well, this represents the function. What is the function doing? Well, the function is going down forever towards what we call negative infinity in terms of y. So the function is approaching negative infinity. Okay? And so when you ask a question like this that says describe the end behavior of the function, the answer is not all this other work and the picture and all that kind of stuff. This is the answer. This is the first part of the answer. This is the second part of the answer. You don't have to number them, but those are the two parts of the answer. Okay? And then, uh, likewise here, when um, the degree of the function is odd, so here's the degree, and the leading coefficient is negative in this case, then we have uh, this type of a shape to the function. Again, we don't know what's happening in here, but we do know with confidence what the ends of the graph are doing. The ends of the graph, as x gets very, very, very big, are going towards um, negative infinity and positive infinity. So, um, so what we have here is, uh, the way they came up with this answer here is, you can see here is negative infinity in terms of x. So as x approaches negative infinity, here, what is this doing? The function is approaching the biggest number I can ever come up with, which we call positive infinity, okay, up there. 
And then here, how did this come about? Well, as x approaches positive infinity, again, positive infinity would be out here somewhere on the x-axis. As x approaches positive infinity, what is the function doing in the end? Well, the end of the function is going towards negative infinity, the smallest number we can conceive of, negative infinity. Okay, and so that's how they came up with this statement. All right, so they literally correspond, this end of the graph is explained by that statement, this end of the graph is explained by that statement. Okay, and so that's what that says. Uh, something else to note uh, that's hopefully evident from this, let me erase most of this stuff I have here. Uh, let me see if I can get rid of that. Okay, um, something to note, if you have odd degree, okay, the function's ends point in opposite directions, all right? And if you have even degree, the function's ends point in the same direction. That should make sense to you, at least this should make sense to you, because we just finished a unit on quadratic functions, which are parabolas, and our parabolas are even functions, y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1, something like that. They're even functions, uh, even degreed functions, I should say. The degree of the function is even. And for all parabolas, their two ends point in the same direction. Okay, so uh, if a function is even, the ends pointing in the same direction, that shouldn't be new information to you. We've spent a whole chapter on that. So what happens if... Uh, the degree of the function is not even if it's odd is that they point in opposite directions Okay, and so uh, Same thing here. Uh, I guess I can go over this a little bit quicker and that says uh, Again, what is the end of the function doing or what are the ends of the function doing and uh, This explains it right here. So again, you can picture this as positive infinity for x living out here positive infinity for y being out there, negative infinity for y being here, and negative infinity for x being here, okay? And then this is how we describe what this type of function is doing. So the degree is even, two, the leading coefficient is positive, positive three, and therefore I can with confidence say what's happening to the ends of the graph uh, this kind of behavior will happen. It may not look exactly like this. What's happening in here, we don't know, but that's okay. We can know with confidence what the ends of the graph are doing. So this says, on this side, on the left, as x is approaching negative infinity, the function up here is approaching positive infinity. Okay? And here, as x is approaching positive infinity, the function is approaching positive infinity again. So the nice thing about even functions is uh, they, the, uh, the function part of the answer is always the same because they point in the same direction. Once you said that as x goes to infinity, the function goes to positive infinity, the other answer for where the function goes must be the same okay? because they point in the same direction. And likewise here, you can think of this as positive infinity living out here, negative infinity living out here for x, and for y, positive infinity is here and negative infinities out here for y. And so same, same situation. In this case, though, we have even degree. Here's the degree. But the coefficient is negative. The leading coefficient is negative. And so what's going to happen there is because it's negative, the ends will point down, and they'll point in the same direction because it's an even degree function. Okay. And so again, as x approaches positive infinity here, what is the function doing? Well, here's the function. The function is going down forever, and we call that the function approaches negative infinity. And here, what's happening here, as x goes to negative infinity, the function is going down forever, and we call that approaching negative infinity. Okay, so again, these two are the same because the two ends point in the same direction. All right? So that's kind of a re-explanation of all of that. Um, I have an activity on Schoology that I will show you in class that can also let you experiment with this a little bit, okay? But so let's answer some questions again. I know I did at least one of these with you in class, but let's do it again, uh, um, maybe a bit 
quicker this time since we've gone over the explanation twice. But so here's what it says. It says, um, describe the end behavior of this graph, describe the end behavior of this graph. And then for letter C, we have some different instructions. So uh, we just break it down like this. The degree of the function is 3, which implies that it's an odd powered leading degree function. And then um, the leading coefficient, leading coefficient is negative 1, negative 1 here. Okay, so it's negative and the degree is odd. So we already know that the shape of this function, if the degree is odd, the branches point in opposite directions, or the ends point in opposite directions. But if the leading coefficient is negative, it doesn't actually look like this. It actually starts at the top and goes to the bottom. So it looks like this. Okay, but that's not the answer. All of this is just work. We have to show. Um, a statement about the end behavior in terms of x and y and infinity and so what we're saying here is here's x as x goes towards positive infinity what is the function doing well the function is going down forever towards negative infinity so the function approaches negative infinity so we write as x approaches positive infinity the function is approaching negative infinity all right. And then likewise on this side, as x approaches out here would be negative infinity. Um, what is the function doing? Well, the function up here is going up forever. We call that approaching positive infinity. So as x approaches, oh, let me redo that. Uh, as x approaches negative infinity over here, uh, the end of the function is going up forever, which we call f of x is approaching positive infinity. And that's right, that's correct, because these must be opposites since the uh, ends of the function point in opposite directions. So this is the solution. All of this other stuff's work. This is the actual answer to the question, describing the end behavior. Okay. Uh, so technically, you don't need to do all of this. I'm just doing that as part of the explanation for you. You don't have to do all of this. You can literally just say, uh, I know the answer, I understand the principle, and you just say, there's the answer, done. Okay, uh, let's do another one. Um, so this time, of course, a different example. Uh, the leading coefficient is positive, and the degree is four. So the degree is 4, which implies that the degree is even. And then um, the leading coefficient, the leading coefficient is 1, which is positive. Okay, And so because the degree is even, we know the ends point in the same direction. And because the leading coefficient is positive, we know the ends point up. So I know that the graph looks something like this. I don't know exactly, but I know something like that. Okay, And so because I know that, I can describe the end behavior. So again, x is over here, x is over here, and as x approaches positive infinity, the function up here is going up forever, which is also called approaching positive infinity. Okay, And then likewise, as x goes over here and approaches negative infinity, the function up here is going up forever, which we call approaching positive infinity. So we can just write that as x approaches positive infinity, the function is approaching positive infinity. And then as x is approaching negative infinity, the function is approaching infinity. Still, these two must be the same if the function is even and they will be opposite if the function is odd. So that makes sense. Everything there seems to fit. Again, all of this is just work, showing your work. You should be doing work showing in your homework and on your test and stuff, but technically this is the answer. Okay, Describe the end behavior, that's the answer. All right, and then for part C, the question is different. It's the opposite way around. You're given a picture and said, determine what would the equations leading coefficient and degree be. All right, so 
because the ends point in opposite directions, we know that the degree must be, and we go up here, oh, ends in opposite directions, that happens when the degree is odd. Okay, degree is odd and degree is odd. So we just say the degree must be odd. And since the graph starts at the top and ends at the bottom of the coordinate plane, starts over here and ends over here, um, this tells me that the leading coefficient is not positive because then it should look like that. The leading coefficient must be negative because then it looks like this. Okay, sorry, that's a bit messy. Um, and so therefore uh, the leading coefficient is negative okay the leading coefficient is negative all right so that's that one and then a similar question uh, example five look at the picture what's true about the leading coefficient and degree so look at the picture well these two ends point in the same direction so that tells me that the degree must be even and since they point down, not up, then the leading coefficient uh, must be negative, okay, negative. And so I go back here and I go, oh, negative, uh -huh. uh, so the degree is even, it can't be this, can't be this, even, even, and the leading coefficient is negative, so can't be this, so it must be this one, letter D, okay? There we go. So that's an explanation of end behavior. I'll make another video for you about graphing polynomials.